no real answers. Okay, so uh, what you need just, just to know on 10 is that we can't factor it using real numbers. We, there are no answers to number 10. Okay, 11, describe the area of the entire rectangle with the given dimensions. Okay, well, let's just take it piece by piece. Here's this square right here. Remember, area is length times width, so x times x is x squared. Now let's talk about this area here. The height is still x, but now it's times 5. x times 5 is 5x. And now let's talk about this one here. x times 3 is 3x. 5 times 3 is 15. So what we can do is we can go through here individually and we can find the area of every single little box. And so there's the area of every single of every single little box. So the total area will be the sum of all of these boxes. So that'd be x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus 15. Go ahead and add down. We'll get x squared at our like terms plus 8x plus 15. And you'll notice that really this side length here could be considered x plus 5 and this side length here is x plus 3 and if we were to foil that x plus 5 times x plus 3 we go uh, let's change colors I like to change colors here x times x would be x squared x times 3 would be 3x 5 times x would be 5x and 5 times 3 would be 15. And look, isn't that the same answer we just got? So you see here that this question gives you a supreme example of how uh, multiplying these binomials together can actually represent square area. And that's what this whole question was asking you to um, figure out. Okay, let's move on to number 12. What are the factors of the polynomial x squared? minus 2x minus 3. Well, we can draw our skeleton here and we uh, we can see that uh, we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 3. Remember, we need to take this number here. We need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 3 but add to negative 2. So, negative 3 and 1 will add to negative 2 and they will multiply to negative 3. So we'll go x minus 3, x plus 1. And the reason that we didn't have to do any of this multiplication stuff like we did in the earlier problems is because, well, there's no number in front of x. So there's no need because this is like a 1. We would just, that'd be the same as just saying 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So we can just leave that step out completely. So when there's no number in front of x squared, you can just do it this very uh, easy way. You can just immediately draw your skeleton out and figure out what two numbers multiply to the last number, your C. Okay, number six right here, the area of a... Oops, nope, not number six, sorry. There we go. Number 13, the area of a square in square inches is described by the expression 16x squared plus 40x plus 25. All right, well, uh, I'll rewrite that here. 16x squared plus 40x plus 25. So uh, we know that um, this is the area of a square lot. So each side length is the same. There's our length. There's our width. And so it tells us that this is a perfect square trinomial, that this is a square area. So we can use our formula, and we can just take the square root of both ends. So the square root of 16x squared would be 4x. So we can write that on each side, 4x. And then we can take the square root of this side here, which is 5. And now we keep this first sign right here. So we'll bring that down here. We keep that one, we keep this one, we keep it over here also. 
and we'll write 5 on the end here, which is the square root of 25. Now let's make sure it works. 16x squared plus 20x plus 20x plus 25. And sure enough, it works just fine. 40x plus 25. Checks out. So each side length is 4x plus 5. And this is our perfect square trinomial. Just keep going down here. Factor the expression 8x squared plus 14x minus 15. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So 8 times 15 is uh, 120, I think. Is that right? 15 times 8, 0, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. 120. So negative 120, we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 120 but add to a positive 14. So we can start writing out our factor pairs for 120. 1 and 120, 2 and 60, 3 and 40, 4 and 30, 5 and uh, 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 20. Whoa, why am I so bad at this? Probably because it's middle of Sunday afternoon, that's why. 5 and 24. 6 and 20. Bingo, right there. 6 and 20. Okay, so 6 times 20. Okay, well, these are. Oh, what's going on here? 6 and 20, 6. 6 plus negative 6 plus 20. Here we go. That's it. 20 minus 6 is 14. 20 times negative 6 is negative 120. So we found our factors. Congratulations. x minus 6 times x plus 20. Now we need to divide by what we, by what we multiplied originally, which was the 8. Now we need to reduce x minus uh, 2 goes into both of those, 3 fourths. And then x plus and 4 goes into both of those, 5 halves. And now our last step is we swing that bottom number right here. So that's 4x minus 8 and 2x plus all right, let's factor this expression now. There's no number in front of that x squared, so we can just ask ourselves what two numbers multiply to 15 but add to 8. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 5 and 3 come to mind. x plus 5, x plus 3. And so the way we figured that out was, okay, well, 1 and, one and 15 multiply to 15, but they don't add to 8. How about 3 and 5? Yep, bingo. It's just the second pair we had to try. And those are the ones that we put here and here. Okay, let's keep going down here. Number 16. Okay, 16 is a difference of squares. So, because both of these here are squares, this is a square and this is a square. So we factor this by using our difference of squares equation, which tells us this minus sign here tells us to write, put a minus here and a plus here. And then we take the square root of the first term, which is 4y, and then the square root of the second term, which is um, 7. And so 4y goes here and here, and then 7 goes here and here. And then we can check it by factoring. So 4y times 4y is 16y squared. 4y times 7 is 28y. Negative 7 times 4y is negative 28y. So there's where the cancellation comes in. And then negative 7 times 7 is negative 49. And after reducing or simplifying and adding like terms, we get 16y squared minus 49. So it factors, it factors out uh, properly. All right, let's uh, scroll down a little bit to number 17. The length.